Welcome back to another Enshrouded video. Today I've got an update to bring you on the future of co-op quest progression as the developers have spoken about the feedback they've received and their plans going forward to try to offer players additional options to enjoy the quests. This has come about as there's been a fair bit of feedback regarding the frustrations of quests that some players are having around progression being server side and not player side, meaning that if one person within a group is not able to play, then they miss out on the quest. For example, if someone went out and rescued all five of the NPCs, then anyone else in their group can't obtain those NPCs themselves, and they may feel they miss out on some of the game's experience. And I believe this is one of the main issues that some players have with the quest progression being server side. But there is some good news coming. So let's take a look at what the developers have said and what they are planning to do. As always Flameborn make sure to subscribe to keep up with all the latest and shrouded news. So Keen Games have put out a message over on their Discord saying they received feedback from players about the quest progression of Enshrouded, with many being frustrated about it being server side. They explain that they designed the system with co-op in mind, meaning that the best experience to gain from the game is playing together with a group of friends rather than separately or friends playing at random times. But of course, as we all know, the world we live in can't always cater for that. The reasoning that the devs gave behind this was that they didn't want players to feel forced to participate in the quests, and therefore players can join in at any stage and not have to do everything to catch up with their other players. Also, you might want to have a group where some want to do the quests and some aren't necessarily interested in doing the quests but want to do the building instead but still keep the progression as a group of players. But just like the pretty successful launch that took King Games by surprise about the number of people that were playing the game, they have realised that they need to look at other options to allow for more options for different players. Now this is great to see coming from the dev team because it means they aren't stuck in their own tunnel vision of how they want the game to be played, but they are open to not changing but adding to how people might want to play the game. So what do they plan on doing? Well they've said that they are exploring ways to implement the following options for player based quest progression. They want to offer an option to be able to personally complete every quest. This is where they're looking to add options for people to be able to play and not necessarily changing how it works at the moment. They want to improve the quest log to better communicate the state of each quest in terms of server versus personal progression. And they've already reduced respawn timers to 30 minutes, so it's possible to defeat a boss again or to destroy a shroud route. Now this was previously 2 hours, that was a long time, a lot of people thought it was too long so they've reduced it to 30 minutes. There are some people that think 30 minutes is now too quick, but at the moment that's what the devs are going with and I think they are going to monitor it. Now don't get too worried about the team changing how the quests work because that's not their intention at all. This is to provide additional options for players. The devs have said that the system as it is now will not be replaced as many players do like it as it is. Their goal with these changes is to offer players additional options to enjoy Enshrouded and its quest. This is where it gets really good because it shows the team want to do what they can for different types of players whilst not changing the core of the game and ultimately this helps to appease as many players as possible and this is absolutely I feel the right way for the devs to do it. So although they've already made the change of reducing respawn timers from 2 hours to 30 minutes, they have said that they don't have an exact timeline for the implementation of these changes yet, but work on them has already begun. They also said they are always looking into further improvements, such as server rights management or allowing to have the NPCs in each of your bases. 
And this, I think, would also be a great move because although players may play together, it doesn't necessarily mean they all want to be in the same base as each other. In fact, groups might want to have a base set up in each biome with NPCs in each of them instead of having to fast travel back and forth just to use the NPC. Now, there is a roadmap of sorts coming, I believe, in the next few weeks. They have been saying that for a little while, so I'm not quite sure when it's going to come. I know there's quite a few people that are eager for new content. You've got people that have finished the content and they are waiting for new content. And then you've got the people that are just fixated on building and that's keeping them busy. And although we don't know when new content is coming yet, there definitely is new content to come that we can definitely be sure of. And I think they've hinted several times now that they have plenty of ideas for new content, but it does sound like they are still working on it, so it's not necessarily plans that they have already set in stone. In fact, I think they may also be using the suggestions board that they opened up to get player feedback and suggestions, which I believe they've had to close for a while due to receiving a significant amount of suggestions. In fact, I'm very interested to hear what sort of content you want to see in the game, so do drop your thoughts down in the comments below. They also briefly touched upon the aspects of the game geared towards group play experience, which includes the fact the more players playing together at the same time, the greater the chances that chests and bosses contain additional bonus loot. Now, this was originally bugged, but has now been fixed, which I believe was fixed in the recent patch. And on top of this, enemy strength does scale with group size too, so that the challenge still remains even though there could be up to 16 players. They actually finished off their update by reminding us that they are excited to tell us a little bit more about their plans for the future soon. And this is relating to that upcoming kind of roadmap plan that I just mentioned, which I'm very excited to see. However, just so you're aware, it's not going to be a roadmap like what is coming when exactly. The team stated it won't be a roadmap as in this in June, this in July, this in August, because a lot of stuff they'll have to explore before committing. And they've seen what happens to roadmaps in other early access games and they don't want people to get upset. Now, I've personally experienced roadmaps myself in other early access games, and people do certainly get upset and claim that the devs have lied when things don't happen. So hopefully it will give us an idea of what's to come, just not necessarily when, and hopefully it is in the next few weeks. So Flameborn, let me know down in the comments what you think about quest progression and what you hope to see content-wise. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all the latest in Shrouded News.